Let's uh, let's shift gears, Matt, and let's talk about a quote from Dave Roberts that I think uh, I'll just classify. I'll start with interesting is the quote. He was asked about heightened expectations among the Dodgers and, and what it's like basically to manage a team that, hey, it's World Series or bust every single year. His quote was, quote, it takes the fun out of it a little bit. Uh, just I'll just leave it there. World Series expectations, quote, take the fun out of it for Dave Roberts. Your thoughts? Surprising. Uh, as, as I alluded to, you know, hearing him speak, you know, kind of candidly about different topics is is Dave Roberts is very careful with what he says and how he says things. He's yeah. he's mindful of what he's going to put out there. For him to say this, and it did, he did, uh, it was Barry Bloom who got this quote. And Barry is somebody that uh, has been around Dave Roberts for decades, both as a player and now a manager. So there is a comfortable relationship that the two share. And I think that that's part of the reason why we got a quote like this from him. Uh, I can understand it logically. Like, yeah, you know, yes, having to, you know, playing with the weight of the, I mean, I'm exaggerating the weight of the world on your shoulders and on your team, like that can become tiring. As, as my own competitor growing up playing sports, still trying to play basketball and stuff like that, like, to me, winning is what's fun. Like, yeah. So I just feel like if you're winning, and the Dodgers have only won one World Series, I get that. But if you're winning during the regular season, like, then you're having fun. Like, worry yeah. about the rest of the stuff later. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, 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 this didn't necessarily go over too well, but I know a lot of fans as we're seeing. Uh, but, yeah, that's interesting. It surprised me. I'm going to defend Dave. In this quote here a little bit and i don't think he's saying that having bad ex- world series or bust expectations is a bad thing i don't think he's saying he would rather manage a team that stinks that like a, a win on a tuesday is like the greatest thing ever and everybody's happy for three days I-, I do think there is something to the idea that if this team does not win the world series it is pure negativity it is pure disappointment and they, we should be like, it is a disappointment if the Dodgers don't win the world series. I, I want to be clear about that, but I can imagine as the manager, how that makes this a really, really a job that isn't fun to use his own word, because we've even seen it this year, Matt, this team goes on like a three game losing streak and the sky is falling and it's just negativity and it's anger and it's frustration and it's disappointment. And I, I do think there is something that gets lost when the only way to be happy is to win a world series you miss a lot of checkpoints along the way. Like I remember in my lifetime, Matt, when making the playoffs was an accomplishment that made me happy. I remember when winning a division was an accomplishment that made me really, really happy. I remember I spent the first 16 years of my life not seeing this team win a playoff game, let alone a playoff series. And so I think there are checkpoints along the way that used to be fun. Like there, like imagine 15 years ago, if I would have told myself, Hey, the Dodgers are going to have a five or six game lead in the beginning of September in the division. I'd be thrilled. I'd be like, oh my gosh, what a fun season that must have been. How many people, Matt, describe this season that we're living through right now fun? Like, what lie is Dave Roberts saying here? It's not a lie, but what I will say is Dave has created a clubhouse culture where they where they do celebrate a lot of the stuff along yeah. the way. And he has also said, like, it's important to do that. And the players have recognized that and done that. And so... He has like he's not managing or taking, you know, each game like as World Series or bust type thing. Like, who cares that we just won, you know, five games in a row because we need to do this in October. So he has done that. I so that's why, like, you're giving him a little bit of benefit of the doubt. That's why I'm kind of going the other way because I, I know that that is the approach he takes with the players in the clubhouse. So to then say, like, you know, it's not as fun, I kind of think like, well, like winning is what's winning is fun. So like sure like it kind of sucks i guess to have those that pressure all the time but would you rather be on the other side where you're managing the white Sox and miguel vargas is playing for you and you guys are you know losing however many games in a row yeah and he looked to be clear he didn't say that was fun either sure. right here's here's an analogy i'll use like I, I went to the university of oregon and my freshman year at the university of oregon was basically the year right before the chip kelly dynasty took off so my freshman year at the university of oregon was a season in that school where making a bowl game was an accomplishment. Everyone was fired up. My freshman year, we made the Las Vegas Bowl. People were fired up. And going to Duck Games that season, I vividly remember how different it is because fast forward three years and they're playing in the national championship and the Rose Bowl. And it's like, if if the Ducks lose a single game 
the whole thing is over with because you lose one game in college football. Not anymore. 12 team playoff, whatever you lose one game. And it felt like the whole season was over. And so you went into every game, not like enjoying the ride and like, wow, if we win, this is going to be fun. It was like, please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. There was this weight that was like dread of like, oh my gosh, if this is the game we lose, what's going to happen. And I feel like the Dodgers, there's, there's a parallel to that. Like winning is not success, but losing is failure. That, that feels like the mode that the Dodgers are in when it comes to the expectations they have. And that's got to be really hard because basically for nine months, the only thing the Dodgers could do is fail because they can't succeed until October. So for March, six months, March through August, there is no victories. There is no success. There is no fun allowed because unless they win in October, we're going to be told that none of this matters. And I think, I think, I think that's kind of the essence of what Dave Roberts is getting at. Yeah, perhaps. And I think, you know, to your point, it kind of, I guess it just depends on what your starting point is with each, you know, kind of individual fan, so to speak. If you're somebody who, I think both things can be true. There can be yeah. fun. There have been fun moments throughout this season. You know, Shohei Otani chasing 50-50. That's great. Like, literally historic. Like, that's something that should be enjoyed and appreciated. Uh, you know, Tyler Glass now having a dominant start on a random Tuesday in May. Like, that's fun to see yeah. and to appreciate at the time. So I think you're able, you should be able to enjoy those, have fun in those moments without necessarily needing to fully sacrifice or lose sight of the bigger picture or really worry too much about it. Like, yeah, in the middle of May, I know Dave Roberts might manage sometimes like he is looking towards October, but a game in the middle of the May, like you don't necessarily need to worry, what is this going to mean for game two of the NLDS, right? Like there's still a ton of time. And so I get your point. I still, and again, I think it just, it really boils down to each individual fan and person like, how are you approaching that season? Because to me, like for me, ultimately, if the Dodgers lose, don't win a World Series this year, it will be like kind of another like failure of a season type thing. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I didn't appreciate or enjoy some of the quote unquote fun or moments along the way. Yeah. I mean, look, if Dave Roberts like three weeks ago had come out and said, man, I'm having so much fun this season. I don't feel like that would have gone over. Like, I think people would have been like, how could you be having fun? Like, you know, this team's disappointing, blah, blah, blah. I think probably, and that would have, that wouldn't have been totally fair. I think if he would have maybe, if, if that's the message he would have sent out, if it would have been based on, Hey, like we've ran away with the NL West a lot of times this season, we're not doing it. That's a different challenge. That's fun. Like, I yeah. think he could have, I think that would have gone over better than just saying, this is the most fun I've ever had. And like, they're struggling with all the injuries and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and maybe at that point it's semantics, but I would hope that if he did say it from the standpoint of like, we're being pushed by the diamondbacks and the Padres are playing well now and this and that, like, this is fun. This is good for baseball. Like I, I would understand that more than honestly, like his quote of saying the, uh, the world series expectations take some of the fun out of things for him. Yeah. It, it's an interesting quote. As you said, people uh, are reacting to this as expected. I saw the headline. I was like, Oh my goodness, Dave, like I might agree with you, but still, that's kicking a hornet's nest, what it feels like for absolutely no reason. So I'd love to hear from people uh, what your thoughts are, because I, I assume that will be a, uh, a lively conversation, to say the least. Let's get.